Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about factoring trinomials, and we're going to factor each completely. So if I was given this trinomial, p squared plus 11p plus 10. All right. Well, I have an a value of a 1 here, so I'm going to ask myself this question. What two numbers multiply to be 10 but add to be 11? What two numbers multiply to be 10 but add to be 11? This one's kind of tricky, kind of tricky, right? Um, I'm thinking of a 10 and a 1. 10 and a 1, right? 10 times 1 is 10, but 10 plus 1 is 11. So, since we have that there, this one's a little tricky, but since we have it, we can break this down into two parentheses. P, the beginning of each one, better P there, okay? And then we just have a plus 10 and a plus 1, and there we go. Our final answer here. And it's just our factor form of p plus 10 times p plus 1. So let's recap. We're given p squared plus 11p plus 10. And we need to factor that. So we have an a value of 1. So we ask ourselves a question. What two numbers multiply to be our c, which is 10, and add to be our b, which is 11? Those two numbers are 10 and 1. 10 uh, times 1 is 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11. So when we factor this out, we have our two parts there. p plus 10 times p plus 1. And there we have it, our final factor form.